This is Twit. Big Tech, New York Times said. Why Big Tech is making a big play for live sports. So the NFL Sunday ticket was the first one、uh, to come up. This is, okay, you sport ball fans have to help me here. This is, I got you. This is, the, this is the, sh- the, the games that aren't in your market. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a package that DirecTV has had for a long time, and they pay a lot of money for it basically to drive people to get a satellite dish on their roof because it's the only way that you could get out of market NFL games. So、out、if it's your local、NFL、team、okay. on a local channel, then you can't see it. And if it's a national game, it's not on there, but、right. it's every other game. So if you're a Packers fan and they're playing, you know, the Buccaneers on a Sunday morning and you live in California, <laughs> how do you see that game? And the NFL answer is Sunday NFL、ticket. Sunday ticket. Ticket. So they, they used that to drive huge amounts of、um, direct TV installations, which was a really smart move for a long time. Direct well, TV、uh, spent a billion and a half for it, but they've been losing money on it big time. It is not,、yeah. it is not good. So they're not going to renew it, it. It's up it, next year. And NFL says they want two and a half billion. They want a billion more this time. Yeah, it never really made sense from a financial, direct financial perspective. It made sense in the, in the idea that they were doing customer acquisition. And I、right. think that、mm. it's kind of gone by the wayside. So, guess what? The NFL, rather than doing what they could do, which is a direct to consumer product, which they actually launched or they announced last week called NFL Plus, which is kind of not that interesting、um, because it's only on phones. It's basically what Verizon and t m o b i l e used to offer. This is、right? so frustrating. Because I want to watch the games, right? And I've got it on my phone, but I can't put it on my big screen TV.、Right. I don't understand.、Mm. So they, they carved this little part of, out of the Sunday ticket deal, which was this mobile only thing. And that's NFL Plus now. It's, they took it so, in house. So they're doing that because then that doesn't undermine whoever's going to buy a, a Sunday ticket. Yeah, exactly right. right. It would literally be Sunday ticket if it didn't have that limitation to it. So, but they're starting that. But and you, and you ask rumors, yourself the question why? There's、yeah. I mean, been rumors you might be able to Chromecast it. You might be able to AirPlay it to your big screen TV. I'm sure there are workarounds. I mean, there are also workarounds where you change your DNS and you can get NFL Plus to show right, everything because、right. it's their international product as well. We're not here to talk about that. I have、but、friends what, who've done that. Remember that silly,、uh, it's lasted about six months startup where you had vertical video. That was Hollywood's idea of Quibi. Quibi. TikTok, remember?、Yeah. And,、uh, and that was the flaw with Quibi. You couldn't put it on your screen. Right. Right. Whereas the NFL thinks that putting it on your screen for a, fo- a whole football game is probably、oh, what you want to do. Is, this is how I want to watch a football game, just, just like this. Just, on just my like、phone. that. Just like you're、That's、there. That's so nutty. Right. So, I love so here's the thing, so、though. much. You do. Do you like it? I get such a kick out of it. It's the same reason I like the Snapchat hot dog. It doesn't make any sense. Like, <laughs> it's like this is their like, main thing and it doesn't make sense. But、so、it makes like- sense. It's greed. It's money, 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 money. That's、oh, what it is. Because here's the thing they could make NFL Plus the replacement for Sunday Ticket and sell direct, and they would get the money from their, cons- from their customers directly, which is actually、They'd、pretty good. They'd make more、right? money. So why don't they? The answer is because somebody will pay it, them more than it's worth、oh. because of extenuating circumstances, because they want to build out something else. Like DirecTV. So DirecTV did, did yeah, it. Yeah. So who, who's up next? Well, it's Apple and Amazon because they are making video ecosystem plays that don't have to make direct financial sense because they want to get people well, to use Apple TV Plus or use Prime Video. According, and that according is who to it's the New York be, Times. Add one more to the mix. Who else is as big as Apple and Amazon and has other reasons they might want? YouTube. YouTube,、so、sure. Apparently, YouTube now is going to be、uh, the third party trying to buy these two and a half billion dollar rights to the NFL Sunday ticket. And by the way, Apple's already started to buy, they have Major League Soccer, they、yep. have Friday Night Baseball. Apple sees this, and is it what you were saying? Because、yeah. you obviously cover this. And, the, and they're rumored the to do TV, college football, too. Yeah. yeah you, you gotta, you, if you're going to watch live sports, you've got to have that package. There's no other way to do it. Yeah. If, if you're a fan of anything that is on a particular service, you're going to be motivated to get that service. And that has value beyond the monetary value. Like if you're Apple, and, and why do you get Friday Night Baseball or why do you get the MLS? One of the reasons is maybe people will convert and they'll pay. They're still giving away Friday Night Baseball. They're not even charging for it yet. But what you are doing is increasing the number of people who know how to get Apple TV Plus. Onto their TV. 
And mm-hmm. once you do that, the next step is you try to convince them to, you know, you're in the ecosystem now. You convince them to watch Ted Lasso or you convince them to watch Severance or whatever mm-hmm. it is, right? It's So they've got this ulterior kind of ecosystem motive. I, Amazon is similar. YouTube would be similar. And for the NFL, you're like, well, we could build this great direct-to-consumer business and it would make sense in the long run. And I think in the long run, they will do it. But it's very hard to say no if somebody's going to give you an extra billion dollars for to be the middleman, right? It's like, okay, great, let's let's do it. And so that's what's going on now. Um, I mentioned uh, college football. Uh, the, all the college football rights are churning around right now too. A bunch of them are coming up. And although ESPN and Fox are the big players there, that's another case where there are these ecosystem companies, especially like Apple and Amazon, who are interested in being a part of that. Because again, live sports is something that you can't uh, cycle through and then binge in a, in a hurry. You got to keep paying over the course of months and months and months. See, and Amazon's, though, by the way, Amazon's got the NFL now too on Thursday that's nights. That's right. It's an exclusive for the Did first that go time. through? Oh, yeah. It is. It's exclusive. It's going to have Al Michaels. They hired Al they Michaels. They got Al Michaels. As, Part of the problem was a, finding a wild. partner for Al Michaels that he would want to broadcast with. Right. Who did they, did they find? Did they finally Oh, I forget. It's it's no lightweight. I mean, it's yeah. it's an impressive. They spent a lot Romo, of money on announcers. Tony Romo or somebody like be, that. Yeah. Because uh, they want they want to, to be taken seriously. And, but and so this is this is the this next bad? Money Does grab. this mean I have to stream Thursday night yes. football? I can't watch it yes. on Actually, the NFL is the best at this of anybody because they have a standing policy that if it's your local team, it has to be on broadcast TV in your local market. So if you're a 49er fan and the game's on Amazon on Thursday, it'll be on one of the local channels in San Francisco. If you're out of that market, you will need to watch it on Amazon Prime Video. And it's There it is, Kirk Herbstreet. It's Kirk Herbstreet. Yeah. Wow. Oh, the Kirk Herbstreet? Well, now. He is well known in college football circles. <laughs> oh, I don't know his NF- NFL circles, but I he's not a he's not Romo. a random dude. He's Romo a wanted... semi not random dude. Yeah, sounds sounds like a random dude. Sports I'm wondering, ball. Should, should, Leo, but, sports, sports ball. ball. I'm not. It's random to me. Uh, yeah, and and Thursday night last season was on two different places, so it was very confusing. You didn't. They know simulcast. Where... They yeah. and they simulcast it right because yeah. they didn't want to fully commit to being on streaming, but they are now. So this is just. I mean, this is. Well, this it's is huge for gold for, rush. for uh, yeah. Kirk Herb Street fans. I think <laughs> uh, it's going to be big. And Herbie I have heads. to say, Shoshana, if Nathan's decided to stream the hot dog eating contest, I think you might want to. Those rights are coming up. Get those rights. A lot right? of speculation about would you would you uh, have to sign up for us? I think ESPN's going to lock down the hot dog. I'm eating sorry, Shoshana. I wonder. That was. A I wonder how say. sports bars handle this. I it, I mean, just it, oh, they in just New York City, it. this is they like just pirated, right? Yeah, some, no, some, no, it's some a, will, but it's a, I mean, it's a big pay-per-view, deal. pay-per-view, right? They, uh, what I have heard, the reports are actually that they are separating, because right now it's Sunday Ticket branded for all of it, and it's DirecTV you is the facilitator. You pay DirecTV almost $300 My understanding, a, a season for that. It's expensive. The reports, the reports are that for gr- for bars and restaurants and other mm-hmm. places like that, they're separating that package uh-huh. because they yeah. know that you, yeah. the last thing that a bar, a bar does not have enough internet to stream eight different games at once, right? It doesn't. So yeah, that's kind of what I, I wonder. Like, you that. have to be IT people at your bar to manage these <laughs> yeah. streams, and do you have to? I, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the the question yeah. my mind goes to, and it, it's huge business. So my guess is that probably still will stay on a satellite, but it'll be like you'll get the box from the NFL that uh, decrypts yeah, yeah. multiple streams and right. puts them on TVs. And Apple, uh-huh. you won't have to ho- like hook up eight Apple TVs to watch football oh on a bar. Oh, my God. Yeah. Let's hope. Shoshana, I don't want to leave you out. What's your sport? Yeah, uh, I don't do sports. Uh, I, <laughs> I just don't sports. But yes. I will say there's two little things I have for this. And one is that like years ago, I think it was the NFL cracked down on people sharing gifts of their stuff. Like, Yeah, isn't that absurd? Yeah. Right. And I don't think they know how how benefits for them work like it's no no one's like oh here's the gift you know like i'm gonna just not watch the game now right i've seen the gift what do i need that for yeah right right and i don't trust them not to mismanage it because of this i i feel like they're really bad at seeing the forest through the trees um and also one thing that i kind of don't understand just as a, a nerd who's not a sports person um, I watch Turner Classic movies a lot, Me and too. I love TCM. Yes, but you have to buy it with a sports package now, and I'm like, well, don't you know? Why would you need extra incentive to buy sports? That does seem if mutually exclusive. Well. Exclusive Comcast audiences. Comcast cash grab is yeah, what that is. Yeah. That's the cash. I know. TCM. 
They own Turner. Oh, it's they bought all of that with Warner. No, right? but they what they did is they put it on the same tier as their sports stuff as the entertainment package or something like that. And the idea there is basically they're forcing people who like TCM to give them an extra. I don't know what it is five dollars a month by putting mm. it in a, a plan. And all the all my movie fan friends who don't like sports so are like annoying. Well, what? <laughs> so annoying. Shoshana, I, was- I think the NFL had, were visionaries. Because what are they doing now? Officially licensed NFL video NFTs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, I don't know. I, I know Web3 has its uses, but a lot of times I feel like this just this just feels like a scam to me. <laughs> like, this just feels like a scam to me. It is. They looked at the NBA and they said, look at all the money the NBA made on their NFTs. $65,000 if you want to get a legendary, legendary moment. That's, uh, okay, Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> wait a minute, legendary number 56, it's $9,000 is the lowest ask. This is cray-cray. Now, people who buy this are not because they're big Mahomes fans. They buy this because they think it's $9,000 now, but it's going to be $20,000 soon, right? And this is speculation. Do you think they brag to their friends that they have this? Like, do you think that the people who buy this are like, oh, bro, like, check out what I just got? And like, also, do you think anyone's impressed by it? Like, I'm wondering nobody, if this is like nobody a is social impressed. status thing. Nobody is, don't you go think, in a bar and say, PC I juniors? Own, yeah. Oh, God. This is like the PC Juniors and those Todd McFarlane Spider-Man number ones. It's uh, speculation. It, by the time everybody's speculating, it's over. The N the NBA is selling it like uh, baseball cards, right? In fact, they have here's the top shot starter top pack. Shots. Get your first NBA and WNBA digital collectors uh, collectibles. So you buy the pack like like bubblegum cards, but uh, but you don't get bubblegum. You don't even get cards. You get nope a link. You get NFTs. Uh, MLB.candy.com so is the baseball version of that. They all are doing it now. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. When when we just passed on this story, we're like eh, it just feels like a scam. They, I mean, the rage. I have never seen such unprofessional <laughs> rage from their PR team. Oh, so the NBA contacted you at at CBS? No, the NBA Top Shots, the NFT company. Oh, and we passed on it. I mean, I it just it was like, but it's I, it, but it's no. the NBA, isn't it? I mean, they're not. Are they the in company? Top yeah, they're all partners. And, yeah. Yeah, uh, with an NFT company. Yeah. It's like it's like the NFL saying, well, we'll give you a billion dollars to be the middleman. It's also like all these sports have said, oh, there's some tech startup that's going to give us a lot of money to license this stuff yeah. and do their NFT thing. We'll all it. right, give right. us the money. Right. That's all they really care about.